Sierra Bar Cake, which we call Chocolate Rebel Bars, will be my video tutorial today. This is the good time to make them because the uh, holidays are fast approaching. They are easy to make and they make very nice gifts. They store very well, does not need any refrigeration. Let's get started. For the crust and the topping, you need one cup of butter, two cups of brown sugar, two whole eggs, two teaspoons vanilla, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, and three cups of quick cooking oatmeal. For the filling, you need one big can of condensed milk, two tablespoons of butter, 250 grams of bittersweet or semi-sweet or milk chocolate, one half teaspoon salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla. To mix the crust, you put together all the ingredients. I have here flour, salt, baking soda, we have sugar, brown sugar, and then you have oatmeal. You mix this together. And then we have butter. You have vanilla. And we have two whole eggs. If you're not sure your eggs are fresh, don't put it directly into the bowl. Put it in another bowl. Alright, so we mix this together. You mix this only until all the ingredients fold together. Okay, this is how it should look. Like this. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to set aside about one and a half cups. You just estimate this, about one and a half cups. We will put this for, the, uh, we'll use this for the topping. Okay, it's better more than less. So, okay, and then here. This is a 13 by 9 by 2 baking pan. You line this with aluminum foil. Make sure that you have a handle here where you can hold it to take this out. Use aluminum foil because uh, this is a bit sticky, a bit difficult to remove. Okay, and then you pour this and then press this here. If you have plastic, you can use a spoon to press this down or you can use your hands or I'll show you, I always use a pastry roller here like this. This is easy especially if you're making a lot but this is not necessary. This will just make it easier, okay? So if you don't have this, don't worry. Okay, and then this is our topping. Remember, we took out one and a half cups, more or less, okay? So next thing we need to do is we make the filling. For the filling, you put together condensed milk. The nice thing about these Revel bars, they're easy to make and they keep very well, okay? You don't need to refrigerate them. I have here vanilla, salt, butter so all the ingredients for the filling put them together and then we have chocolate you can use uh, regular chocolate you can use uh, milk chocolate semi-sweet bittersweet uh, whatever or dark sweet whatever your choice of chocolate as long as it's sweetened it's all right okay so you heat this only until the chocolate is melted if you have a microwave you can put this in the microwave too there are many versions of the Revel bars I like this version because it's easy to make it's very stable so see don't over mix huh? 
once you see the uh, the chocolate completely melted take it out because if you overheat it what happens is the chocolate will cease it means the chocolate will thicken up and it will be difficult for you to spread okay see i have very little chocolate left actually i have recipes also another version is you just pour the condensed milk here and then put some chocolate chips as it bakes it melts you can also do that but i find this easier for you all right see it's melted now shut it off okay if you have uh, some chocolate on top some small bits of chocolate that's all right okay so here let's pour this in don't forget use aluminum foil because this will be very difficult to remove because of the fudge from the condensed milk okay next we're going to put this on top these are irregular pieces which you sprinkle on top there is no specific pattern the idea here is not to cover the whole thing you should be able to see some of the chocolate inside so you put spaces in between all right for presentation or um, the way you make this some people leave it like this with the top which is uneven some push it down some like an, a more even top so this is what they do they press it down which I like to do because if I package them, I like them to be of the same level. So you press them down a little bit. Okay? Alright. Then let's put this in the oven. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded.